So we've talked about some really important bikes for 2020, but actually, in reality, they don't come much more important than this, which is Kawasaki's brand new Ninja 1000 SX. So I've alluded that this is one of the most important bikes uh, and it is in terms of the marketplace because actually if you look at the statistic year on year on year, this is always in the top 10 bestseller. It's a really important bike for us um, in the UK. Loads of customers uh, ride it. In fact, our own uh, founder of Knox, he's got his own uh, 1000SX. I've put a lot of miles on it as well. I know the bike really well, so I can talk with some conviction about this bike, but yeah. it's, a, it's just a stormer. Yeah. Well, it, uh, it it ticks so many different boxes. It's one of those bikes, isn't it, that does so many different things. You can tour on it. It's got massive performance. It's kind of semi-sport bike. It's comfortable. And with this new variant, I mean, I know you said it's all new. It, it's a, it, it, essentially the same bike that preceded it, isn't it? But it's, it's, a, it's had a, a major facelift, if you like. So yeah. the styling changes and, and there's obviously some technical upgrades as well. Um, but you know, it's, it's the old adage, isn't it? And I, you've heard me say this before, but if it's not broke, then there's no need to fix it, is there? And, and the, the foundation of this bike has proven to be hugely popular in the UK market. Like you say, there's a lot of people out there who buy this. And what, what you find is actually, a lot of guys who are riding the previous edition will just upgrade for this new one because they're just, they're, 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 they're so dedicated to this particular product because of how capable it is overall. So what you've got basically is a as, as a format. You've got a cracking engine. Yeah. All right. So that 140 horsepower. It's it's a fast motor. Yeah. It's got loads of torque in it. You know, it's not it's not as fast as my as as, as my own bike in terms of horsepower. But I tell you what, when I'm out riding with Jeff, sixth gear roll on, he's gone. Yeah. You know, because yeah. it's just got loads of it's torque, torque yeah. really usable. Um, and well, you know, obviously, he's a lot handier on a bike than I am <laughs> as well. He's a lot handier than most people, yeah. to be fair. So, so yeah. don't do yourself down. No, but you stick you stick him on this bike, and it, this is the beauty of this bike. It's literally uh, you want it to be a sports bike and put it in the right hands. This is a really fast motor. You want to tour on it? Yeah. You can tour on it. It's yeah. comfy enough. Um, almost anything you want to do. Yeah. You know, it's got a it's got a movable screen. It's comfortable. The riding position's really Great. good. Yeah. Um, and I suppose they've just tweaked that, haven't they? They've yeah. made it a, a, a comfier seat now, so the, the pillion seat is so much better on this new model. That's it, that's one of the yeah one uh, of the, the one of the, the significant upgrades. changes. It's a bit it's a bit like Porsche's 911, right? It's just it's a, it, you know the fundamentals are the same. It's just evolved. <laughs> What, what a great family car, it does everything. Yeah. <laughs> no, That's I'm, probably I mean, not the best you, example, if, to if be it, fair. It is, if you look back 50 years, essentially right. the, the format is the same, engine in the back, etc. and they've just, the, the, bike, the car has just yeah. been improved over that time. It's the same with this, this bike's been around for quite a long time now. Yeah. I don't know when it was launched, 2000 and something, but you know, when you look at the styling, it's pretty much the same, yeah, they tweaked yeah. it, the snout is a bit different. But it's the kind of technical aspects of it. You know, obviously now it's Euro 5 compliant. Um, and over the years, as, as new technology has been introduced to motorcycling, they've now bolted those bits and pieces on just to make that the, the, the bike just that two or three or four or five degrees better than it was before, 5% yeah. better than it was before. Yeah. So, um, what so the, up, the updates, yeah. okay. So updates include, as standard now, uh, up and down quick shifter. Yeah. Which I think is a, a great addition, uh, and, and you know it's it, it's a great value bike. You've got traction control, which you never had before. You've got a TFT screen with uh, phone connectivity, uh, and I think you've got an IMU in this as well. So you've got lean angle. Well, it's now Euro 5 compliant, isn't it? Um, Euro 5 obviously, compliant. you've got you've, you've got, got cruise some, control. Yeah, you've got some styling changes as well. So the nose, I think, is slightly different, um, and obviously. We were just talking off camera with Jeff as well, and he was saying this is a big, quite a big deal. You know, I know that um, he tours with his good lady wife, and you know, if you're going to be sat on the back of a bike as a pillion, you want to be comfortable, right? Yeah. And having a wider, softer seat is going to make a big difference to that too. So, um, I think it's about time to bring Jeff in. Actually, I get think, a second I, opinion. I, I think, given that he's running around in one of these, it'd be really interesting to see what he's got to say about this new variant. Jeff, we thought we would just take the opportunity to get a second opinion from an owner of a previous um, variant of the Ninja 1000 SX. I'm guessing it was Z1000 SX on your bike. Uh, I guess it was Z1000 SX. Do you know, I don't even really know the name. Yeah. It's been so long. <laughs> when did you, when did you uh, buy your one? Well, I'm guessing maybe 
three, get it three years ago, yeah. Okay, so it's like a 2000 and... It was a 15 bike, I right. think I bought in early 16. And I suppose the important question here is, why did you pick the 1000 SX? What was it about that bike that... Uh, because actually I wanted, I, I've come off a, a GSX-R 750 right. um, and I'm a sports guy at heart um, uh, and I wanted something that was also a bit of a missile that had the same kind of power. I didn't want to really go down, yeah. but, and I wasn't really looking for a proper sports tourer. Okay. And this kind of just seemed to sit really in the middle. Yeah. Um, and it suited, it, it got the power, it's got really great handling. Yeah. Riding Perfect. position, is that, is that something that uh, was that's, an issue? That's the only thing that I, with, that, you know, when I got it, I, I, I couldn't continue being so far crouched. Yeah. But this was a bit too much sit up and I wanted to drop the bars. Okay. But could never do that. Right. Just wasn't something that they they like over top. No, of. and, and yeah, I guess you could have special risers made, yeah. but you know, it's, it's a yeah. chunk of money and I just thought, oh well, I'll just live with it. So given what you've seen with the new one, because I know you've been over to the standard a look before, mm. would you would you consider changing it? Have they made enough adjustments on this bike and are any of them important to you? If you if you could kind of in an ideal world, if there were adjustments you could make to your existing bike, have they addressed that with this new one? Well no, they haven't dropped the bars. <laughs> <laughs> aside from the bars. But, but aside that... from the bars, actually I think because it's a really yeah, good recipe, you, isn't you, it, this bike? Do you know what? I would buy another one for you sure. Would. And I would buy this one because it's got a far, far better display system yeah. on it. You know, yeah, that um, new TFT is really crisp and clear, it, isn't it's it? It's really, it, it appears to be really crisp and clear. Yeah. Um, and that I think the old one did leave something to be desired. Yeah. But um, apart from that, you know, it's got the quick shifter on. It's got a few tweaks that I think would make the bike a bit better. Yeah. I, th I mean, um, ultimately, sure. yeah. I mean, ultimately, I suppose what what they're trying to do is make the whole ownership and riding experience just that incrementally little bit better, aren't they? And adding cruise, adding TFT. I know we talked briefly off camera about the pillion seat being adjusted, and I know you'd go out with your good lady on on the bike. Indeed, and and, and after a couple of hours, you know, yeah. we're all. I, I don't know whether they've changed the the, the, the riding the seat, riding seat yeah. but after a couple of hours, it does get very uncomfortable. I, so. I, We've upgraded ours to a gel seat. Have you? Um, yeah, we have. Yeah. And does that make a difference? Oh, significant difference. Right. Yeah. And what about what about the sort of styling changes? I mean, I know it's only. No, I really only... like the styling yeah, change. Paint. I do. Because obviously you've got a new paint colourways, haven't you? Yeah. I no no. For me, this is a really great looking bike, and yeah. um, I have to say, after looking round all of the bikes, uh, I mean, what a cracking deal this is. Well, when you. I mean, I, I look at other. And I'm kind of bordering on the, you know, naked bike or fared bike. Yeah. And you look at some of the other bikes and they're great, but they're significantly more, more expensive. expensive. You do you do get an enormous amount of bike for your money, oh, don't you? But huge. of course, what we might do, Jeff, is might have a word with our pal from Kazakhstan. Absolutely. See, see whether we can borrow one and do a road test on it for a month or two. Listen, thanks very much for, for your a time, month Jeff. Or two. <laughs> is that all? <laughs> well, listen, thank you for coming okay. and talking to us. No worries. So this is our first look at Kawasaki's new facelift Ninja 1000 SX. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Don't forget to hit the notification button and we'll see you on the next one.